Hello and welcome back, guys. It's me again. You know me. I'm Evil Woody. Or Vincent, rather. Welcome to Joshua's Object Camp. Episode 3, Part 1. The Zesty, the Vicious, and the Woody. Welcome back! Hope you all had a pleasant break. In the last episode, we revealed that the juicy oranges weren't very good at picking boxes. However, they are half decent at getting tokens. Um, Woody, aren't you forgetting something? What? You mean these confessionals? Fine, we'll show them. But after that, we'll have some fun! <laughs> Orange James Brooks says, I felt bad for X-Ray, so me, transgender Plank, and Neptune are working on a master recovery center. It should bring anyone not evil back to life. Speaking of which, I came to check on Z, but he is missing. So is evil Woody. Also, has anyone seen Woody? <laughs> I'm pretty sure if you watched the ending of the last episode, it's quite clear. And now, Orange's words of wisdom with Orange James Brooks. Today's words of wisdom, when you're down, you know who your friends are. Yes, and in truth, you also know who your enemies are, the ones that brought you down to begin with. Crown Leo Kazarovic says, Congrats to Orange for getting a revenge token, and this is the first time I have a token. Woo hoo. <laughs> well, that sounds rather interesting. HMHS Britannic Yoshi Cool says, I like this camp, and I hope I can win this camp. Neptune Slurpy Dude 2 says, See, that's why number 7 is my unlucky number. Anyway, I hope I don't get out early, but a win token? Not bad. <laughs> Transgender Mitt HJ says, Ugh. Inactive teammates. Anyway, hopefully our team picks up the pace. Ping Pong Ball. Daryl Kennedy says, I am glad I did not get the bad, bad box. Clinton, want to be friends? A little bit of a change of perspective here. Yes, I really would like to be friends with contestants. And I don't know why, like, we should already be friends, but, you know, I'm not so sure, but regardless, yeah, we are friends. Um, moving on and back into character. Plank, memorific boy, says, Dude, I really like this object camp, but it's a bit hard when people vote in the comments to make things fair. If I saw in the comments I had a lot of votes, I would just use my immunity token. Maybe votes could be done through PM to make things fair? Getting out of character again here. In response to that, um, I'm sorry to say that not everyone knows how to PM. Like, I could teach you how to personal message, but it's a little bit of a lengthy process. For me, anyways, to go out of my way and make a tutorial video on how to do that. So, um, yeah, for the time being, comments, because comments are open and accessible to everyone. I do apologize if you are able to see your votes. Um, this kind of makes it an advantage for us. Then again, only us are able to see the PMs, but whatever. Um, still, the general answer for that is comments for the time being. Getting back into character now. <laughs> yes. That was so boring. I could have taken over an entire planet in the amount of time it took to show those confessionals. 
Are you okay, Woody? You don't seem like yourself today. Of course I'm fine! Why wouldn't I be fine? Anywho... It's time for execution! <laughs> Hello, contestants! Things will be a little bit different around here. Right then, on to my favorite part. One of you is about to freeze! Yeah! <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, but first, we have to find out who wins the prize. Oh yes, of course. Couldn't go an entire episode without finding out who wins the prize, now could we? With zero likes, Plank, Mona Lisa, Cheese Orb, and Orb do not win the prize. With one like each, Spongy, Lollipop, and Neptune do not win the prize. It's between Orange and Transgender. Let's see the end results. Three and five, Orange wins the prize. Well then, I guess you can have this prize. Meh. I'll give you this Yoil token. I already have five at my lair. Now, on to elimination. With zero dislikes each. Spongy, Orange, Plank, Neptune, and Transgender are safe from elimination. You know what? We're already in the bottom four, so we may as well cut, or rather, find out who's eliminated right now. It's between Lollipop, Mona Lisa, Cheese Orb, and Orb. With one dislike, Lollipop is safe. With two dislikes, Mona Lisa is also safe. With one dislike, Orb is also safe. And with a record high of six dislikes, Cheese Orb is the one getting eliminated. Yes! Looks like you're eliminated. Come with me. The rest of you, do whatever survivors do. Survivors, really? This dude can't be him. And I'm not buying it. Nineteenth Cheese Orb. Philip Wisrowreck. Your inactivity is to blame for your early elimination. Seriously, guys, do the challenge next time. <laughs> Hold it right there! Guys, that Woody at the castle is my clone, Evil Woody. He broke Z out of her dungeons and captured me as well. As we speak, Z is standing guard over here in Evil Woody's organ chamber. There isn't much time. You guys will have to come here and rescue me. Surprise, Woody. Ready to be destroyed. Ah! Help me! The riddles for each chamber are as follows. Riddle 1. While the rest stand tall, this one is small. You'll find me on the ground in many shapes, usually carrying some sort of seeds. Who am I? Riddle 2. Paper shurikens fly through the night. Nothing obscures this man's sight. Like a ninja in his moves, yet he hosts a camp just like you. Who am I? Riddle number three. This object is the queen of pop. The make of this is used with a mop. 
This is certainly not a tot. But best friends with Fiery, she is not. Who am I? Riddle number four. Never recovered, woe is me. I think I've taken an arrow to my knee. Deleted in the reboot, I was. In a seashell, I'm most likely found. In the glimmer, in the summer sun. But only if my smooth surface is done. Who am I? Final riddle! <laughs> Beat me with fiery, you cannot. Not with water or deep within. The only one who beats me is the one that always wins. Who am I? The challenge ends on Monday, September the 7th at 12 o'clock noon Eastern Standard Time. Please hurry. The co-host is counting on you.